Hey, hello. Welcome to Lily Haven. I am going to be honest with you. My island is a hot mess right now. But um, I wanted to start off by introducing myself and showing you around. So my name's Melon Lee and let's get started. So I, this is not my first Animal Crossing Island. Um, it's probably like my fourth maybe. <laughs> um, I wanted to start um, a new island and do kind of like a farm core kind of theme. Um, I re-rolled a lot of times for this layout, so um, I figured I'd show it off a little bit. Um, I'm not super happy about this yellow airport, but um, other than that, I'm super pumped about the rest. Please, please, please try to look past <laughs> all this stuff. Okay, all right, so one of the things I was looking for when I was re-rolling for islands was that the airport entrance lined up directly with the plaza. So you just come straight ahead and you get right to the center of all the stuff. So um, I'm really pumped about that. This, um, I'm really, <laughs> I'm looking forward to uh, getting getting three stars. So I just, everything that I get, I'm just putting everywhere. So um, it's a little wild. This is 100% not farm core, but um, that's why. So as you can tell today, um, I have resident services um, being built. We upgraded from the tent. Um, if you're familiar with Animal, animal Crossing and the, the progression, I've gone through quite a bit of the tutorial kind of stage. Um, and we have, oh, I should start by showing you my map. That would help a lot. So as you can see, there's me and we've got five villagers so far. So we've got Pashmina and Dom. Those are my starter villagers. Um, and actually they ended up being perfect for like a farm core island. I was really happy about that. Um, and then we have Victoria, um, Poppy, Victoria's um, Peppy, Poppy is lazy, and Annalisa is normal type. Um, Annalisa is probably the odd one out right now. Um, I'm having a little bit of trouble um, really solidifying what I want to do for this farm core theme. Um, I really want to have like a little bamboo garden um, and I feel like, you know, like a Japanese inspired character would be good for that. But anyway, uh, it's Annalisa for now. <laughs> So that's what she looks like. Um, I'll kind of go around and show you what we have going on so far. So up, you come up to resident services. Um, and then if you go to the left, I have all this <laughs> more stuff. Um, oh, I haven't caught a snail yet. So let me catch this real quick. Woohoo. Okay. So we got that. And then, so to the left of resident services, we have the Nook's Cranny. So cute. Oh, another one. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't done any of my daily stuff yet, so I'm gonna be very distracted. All right, so that's, we don't have um, the tailor shop yet. Um, they've only come twice to my island so far, so. Um, one more time and hopefully we should be able to get their plot down. I'm thinking about putting them somewhere to the right of resident services, um, but we'll see. Okay, here we go. So, oh, here's Dom. Hi, Dom. Oh my gosh, and a balloon. We're never gonna get through this thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but the reason I wanted to make a YouTube channel is because um, I love watching Animal Crossing videos, and I already know this. Um, and I love playing Animal Crossing, so it's like, well, why don't I make my own Animal Crossing videos? So 
uh, we're gonna give it a shot. See how it goes. Okay, so if you go up like right behind Nook's cranny, you'll see my house. Wow, she big, she cute. Um, I did cheat a little bit and I, <laughs> I had a lot of bells um, saved up on my previous island and so I dropped them off um, and a couple of items too. I dropped them off at my friend's island and I picked them up when I was able to fly over there so that's why my house is <laughs> so big already. Um, I just I really want to get to the full customization of the house so I can make it um, make it look cool so that's why that's why. <laughs> and here's all my extra crafting materials. And then, okay, so let's go down this way. We'll go along the river. Super pretty. Um, oh, another thing that I did was I um, planted a, like I, I had a lot of flowers that I was breeding on my old island. So I um, brought those to my friend's island as well. My natural fruit, as you can see, is peaches and my natural flower is pansies. Um, so yeah, pretty bare, um, still not a whole lot going on yet, but that's kind of the point. I wanted to, um, kind of start fresh with, with this channel and with you guys and, um, you know, do the thing together. So <laughs> the reason I stopped is because you're about to see my horde of bugs. So... <laughs> <laughs> the reason for this is I am planning on having Flick, whenever he decides to show up, he has not showed up yet. Um, I want Flick to make a lot of bug models because, you know, it's going to be pretty farm, going to be pretty rural, um, going to be going to be a lot of bugs everywhere. So <laughs> I have a lot, I've been like grinding for bugs, it's a lot of bugs. Um, we got some ladybugs, we got some bees, take a guess at what I'm going to build at some point. Um, yeah, I haven't got any more of uh, these, oh, I forget what they're called, um, the pink and white mantis. It'll come to me like five minutes from now. So um, for right now, Pashmina and Dom's houses are down here on the beach because I don't really know where I want to put them yet. This is Pashmina's house. It's pretty cute. Um, I like the um, exteriors of everybody's houses so far. Um, you know, as we know, the interiors are not great for the first five. Um, this is Blather's tent. I'm planning on keeping it as a tent for now. I feel a little bad because every time I talk to him, he's like, we only need 15 more donations to open the museum. And I'm like, ooh, <laughs> not this time, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> um, poor Blathers. And then this is Dom's house. Pretty, pretty simple right now, you know. I don't want to get too invested in the layout. Sorry, one more snail, and then I'll, and then I'll be alone. <laughs> be alone, <laughs> and then I'll stop. <laughs> um, which actually, that reminds me, I got one of these bad boys since we're going on a tour. So you can, um, <laughs> you know, you know, you know how to. You can find me. Because I've got, <laughs> I've got a little flag. <laughs> Cute. I didn't know that it would wave like that. Oh yeah, another thing that I kept was all the fruit types. Because you girl don't know how to find them without friends. So here are all the flowers that I saved. I think I have everything except for blue roses and gold roses. Um, blue roses are pretty hard to breed. Um, but I'd like to at some point, um, just not right now. So that's pretty much it. Um, this is, we've made it to the right of resident services. There's not really a whole lot going on here. Just, you know, random, random stuff. So here is where I put my bridge 
and you'll see right up here is um, this is Poppy and Victoria's house and I have done a little bit of decorating here um, because I was pretty sure that this would be an okay spot for them um, I made like a little ranch behind their house because they're both horses and so I thought it'd be cute if they had like you know have like horses have like a big fenced in kind of field that they just kind of hang out in I thought that'd be cute oh <laughs> I left that boot there oops well let me let me pick it up okay and then um, down here, there's not a whole lot. There's a little bean-shaped, um, I don't know if you would call this a lake. I think I think it's probably more of like a pond. Um, oh, there's Victoria. How's it going? Um, got this little rock space. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it just yet. I like, another thing I like about this island is that it's got these, um, <laughs> keep waving my little flag I've got these like rocks that like go into the grass I don't know why but I never really noticed that on any of my previous islands so I just I thought it was cool um, neat little kind of feature that this island has um, so I like this rock space how it has kind of like two little spaces and actually it looks like there's another one back here. I'd have to do some terraforming to get back there or some climbing. Um, but yeah, and then I've got this kind of like double waterfall natural thing going on here with the bigger waterfall up top. Um, they're really, oh, my bamboo trees have grown. Um, yeah, so I filled out a little bit of Annalise's house with, um, with bamboo trees. I really am liking the idea of having a little bamboo garden. Um, so once we get some more like furniture and things, we'll probably do a little bit more decorating around here. Um, I'm probably not going to go up the cliffs too much just because there's really not anything going on up there. Um, We'll vault over here. So if you want to look at the map, so we've made it um, all the way around the right side, pretty much, and we're just gonna hop over and take a take a peek at the at the left side. So we're gonna hop across here, and um, this is a pretty neat spot. I think this would be a cool spot for maybe like an orchard over here, because there's really not a ton of space, but um, you know a good bit um, it's really a tall space so I don't really know like tall is in like long vertically you know we'll see I don't know there's lots of space to do lots of things so here oh go pick that up here is wait let me get my flag back out um, <laughs> Here's my little dock area. I um, I thought this this is technically a toolbox, but I thought it looked oh interesting. I didn't know it opened. Um, I thought it looked kind of like a tackle box, you know, with like um, bait and stuff. Anyway, so I put that there. <laughs> I put this freezer here. I don't know, so that maybe the you know you could put stuff that you catch in there. I don't know. Um, I think this little like that it's in this like kind of little bubble off of the corner is kind of interesting. Um, I think it's gonna make it a little difficult to decorate, but maybe it'll be cool. Maybe we'll find something cool to do. I clearly did not put a lot of <laughs> palm trees down here in this corner, um, but this is the kind of rock part that I'm really excited about. I just feel like there's a lot of space. I like that there's like this um, this other rock like right here kind of blocking it, you know, kind of making it um, making it like its own space, you know. You feel like this is a designated area for activities. Um, and I also really like this tiny little pond right here, like this little pool of water. I think that's really cool. Um, and then up here is our little island. I think it's interesting. I don't think I've had one this far up before, if I remember correctly. Um, most of them were like, pro 
probably about midway down the island, I believe. Um, and then I like this tiny little teeny weeny beach up here. Um, and this rock's okay. It's aight. Probably not going to do a whole lot with it. But yeah, that's Lily Haven so far. Um, you'll have to let me know what you think. Um, and if you have any ideas for me, I know that there aren't a ton of farm core YouTubers. Um, if you know of any, you should 100% um, let me know so I can watch um, watch them and get some inspiration maybe. Um, part of the reason I picked car uh, <laughs> Carm4 <laughs> farm core is um, because I, before I, I really found myself getting kind of picky with um with villagers you know like with like hardcore dreamies that are like really hard to find you know and um like I don't know I just I'd like to be a little less picky about villagers and I feel like farm core really lets you do that while still also feeling like you are contributing to the theme of your island if you know what I mean um because there's, there's a lot of horses, um, which I meant to mention earlier, I, horses are actually my least favorite, well, one of my least favorite Animal Crossing animal species. Um, on my very first Animal Crossing um, New Horizons Island, my first peppy villager ever was Winnie. Um, and if you don't know who Winnie is, maybe I'll see if I can put a picture of her up in editing this will be my first video that I ever edit so if I don't I'm sorry <laughs> I might be um, putting too much pressure on myself but Winnie oh my god and so listen it took me a really long time to appreciate the peppy villagers but with her being like my first I think probably anybody who was my first unless they were like absolutely drop-dead gorgeous like I probably would have hated any any of the peppy villagers um, because I didn't know that they existed so um, yeah not a fan of horses too much um, I'm excited to get hmm let's think what are the other types what are the other types there's cows horses oh a chicken maybe um, cow horses chickens goats sheep I have um, I have the Animal Crossing app. What's it called? Uh, the ACNH guide, which um, has all of the villagers on there um, and a big list. So let me see. They have bulls. I don't know that I really want a bull, but we could we could maybe get a bull. Um, oh, pig! I'm really excited to get a pig. I'm thinking probably. Um, Agnes or somebody like that um, and then we have like I said cow um, goat horse uh, sheep so in addition to that I might get like a cat or a dog if I find one that I like um, I'm also thinking so there's a lot of different types of like I don't know what to call them, areas, I guess, that I want to have on this island. A lot of ideas for that. Um, and so there are some villagers that, like, I don't really know. So I want each villager to have, like, their own crop kind of thing. Their own thing that they collect. So, like, here. I'll show you. I'll give you a little sneak peek. Um, oh, well, Dom wants to talk to us, so let's talk to Dom first. Oh, gee, thanks. Thanks so much. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. I hear a balloon, so let's get that real quick. Oh, there's a rainbow! So pretty! Well, you can look at that while we wait for the balloon to get to me. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, I already know that. Let's see if I know this one. Frida. I don't know this one. Cool. 
We don't have to drop anything just yet. Okay, let's see what this is. Hopefully it's money. Yes. Cool. Oh, <laughs> one, of my, one of my villagers sent me mail today and they sent me a bidet. <laughs> I can't. Okay. I was showing you, um, I was giving you a sneak peek at some of the ideas I have. So one of my ideas for um, a goat villager, whether that's Pashmina or a different goat, um, is kind of like a flower garden kind of thing. Um, hence all the flowers and the shrubs that are over here. Um, because my thinking with that is that I just, when I think of goats, I think of like, you know, they're kind of like grazing animals and <laughs> the stereotype is that they eat like everything. <laughs> and I just, I just could picture like a goat just munching on some flowers in a flower garden or something like that. So that's my idea for one of the goat villagers. Um, I want them to have a little flower garden and they can have like a little flower stand where they sell the flowers. I'm giving you all the spoilers here, all the inside scoop of Lily Haven. And then for the sheep villagers, whether that's Dom or somebody else, um, I'm thinking, can you guess? Can you guess? What do you think? Oh, <laughs> wow. Um, I didn't know it did that. Well, I've given you plenty of time to guess. So what I'm thinking for the sheep villagers is some kind of like weaving kind of thing. I know that they have um, that in the game. There's like this big like loom um, and we can put those like um, kimono displays of like, you know, the kimonos all stretched out and pretty. Um, <laughs> the closest thing to that that I could find for right now is this. So, um, so yeah, that's what I was thinking for like the sheep villagers and they could sell like, um, I don't know, some stuff. So that's, that's, I kind of want to do something like that for every villager. And so the thing that I was having trouble with is like, um, there are things I want to do that I feel like, um, farm core, like the typical farm core villagers wouldn't necessarily um, fit those areas that I want to have. Um, for example, um, Annalisa. So like Annalisa is not a farm core villager whatsoever, um, but I feel like she fits our little bamboo garden. You know what I mean? So do I keep her? Do I not keep her? Like, do I just pick a random farm core villager to be in charge of the bamboo garden? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. If you know of a villager that could fit the farm core theme, but also the um, bamboo garden theme, like, uh, I don't know. I don't know technically what Naomi's deal is supposed to be, but you know, I, I feel like she's a little edgy and scary for farm core, but... <laughs> I don't know if you know of any villagers that would um, that would fit this kind of bamboo garden theme a little better, but also kind of fit in the farm core theme. Let me know. I really would like to know. So um, yeah, that's um, that's Lily Haven. That's me, um, and I'm super excited to um, pick up this weed and also. <laughs> I'm super excited to make some more videos for you guys and um, see see what all we can turn this this island into. Also, this is gonna be a super duper what's it called thumbnail. I'm a I'm a full blown YouTuber, you guys. This is it. This is my moment. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Well, anyway, um, thanks so much for hanging out. Um, a new video is coming ASAP because I'm super duper excited to get going and um, yeah the rain stopped I don't think I mentioned the rain really not the best time when it's raining for a for a tour video but you know we do what we gotta do 
Okay. All right. Well, I guess that's all for now. And I'll see you later.